What's going on guys, Trevor Hansen here, standing in front of the brand new 2021 SA550. A lot of new features for this year, we're gonna walk you through them. So we're gonna start this walkthrough right here on the back of the SA, the transom. It's an awesome spot. There's plenty of room back here. Um, the platform is huge. It's a really nice spot, whether you're uh, getting ready to ride, putting your board on, got your surfer, getting people in and out of the water. It's just a really nice big platform. Um, one of my favorite features on the back of the boat is uh, the surf locker. There's plenty of room in here for a couple of surfboards, but me personally, what I like to use it for is wet life jackets, um, ropes, handles, floats, all that stuff that you're gonna be using in the water. You can keep it all right here on the back of the boat. It's conveniently located and you don't have to bring anything wet back onto the boat. And that's an amazing feature for me. Once you close this down, you've got an awesome bench seat. Um, you can sit back here comfortably. You've got the kids swimming in the water. People are getting ready. Um, there's a lot of action that's always happening right here on the back of the boat. And this is an awesome spot with cup holders to be able to sit here and just kind of hang out and lounge. So one of our most popular options on the Supras are these flip up seats right here. Easily flips up, really nice for just lounging when you're in the cove. You've got your cup holder access. There's one on each side. Is this a really comfortable place to sit? The SA has got a ton of ballast, 3,500 pounds, and they've done an amazing job with the engineering to actually allow you to have all of that ballast subfloor. So you've still got ample storage, it's full storage all the way through, plenty of room for skis, wakeboards, uh, life jackets, ropes, whatever you want to put in there, it's all subfloor ballast, so you don't have to worry about putting stuff on top of your ballast bags. A couple other things that are right here on the transom, you've got your pop-up tow point, whether you're going to pull a tuber or a skier, it's really nice to have that. And then one of my favorite features is the gator step walkthrough. So being able to come up here, walk through, not step on any of your cushions and just have a nice, easy place to walk through. Another awesome option on the back of the transom here is the optional filler cushion to turn it into a full sun pad so you eliminate your walkthrough and you've got a pad that you can fit right in there and have a full layout sun pad. One of the coolest parts about the cockpit area in the Supra is the versatility to it. To be able to have um, this large area where you've got plenty of room for everyone to sit comfortably, you can also get a bunch of people facing rear so that they can watch the action behind the boat. You've got a rear facing seat here. Then we've got the flip up seat here in the center. It flips up first into a table, which is one of my favorite features. I've got two young kids. It's really nice during snack time or break for lunch. You've got an area to be able to lay out all your food, have your drinks and a nice area for everyone to be able to get in there and get their snacks. Then it flips up into a seat. So you've got a full bench seat going across for rear facing. And then we've got another flip up seat right here. So you can have pretty much everybody in the boat with a comfortable backrest facing rear and watching the action on the back of the boat. New for 21 in the Supers, you'll notice the Gator Step. An amazing flooring option. It looks awesome as an accent up on the top deck and in the walkthrough. Really comfortable on your feet. There are just a ton of options. Uh, you can really customize this boat to look exactly the way that you want. They've got two color options, three color options, and they've also got some laser etching that you can do, which is what we have in this boat. It's absolutely beautiful, holds up really well, easy to clean, really comfortable on your feet. This year we added a new cooler subfloor. Uh, one of the nicest features about that is because it's in the floor of the cockpit, it's not under a seat. So it's easy access. You don't have to have anyone to get up. You can simply just open up the compartment, grab your drink, and no one has to move. New for the 21 Supers is the single piece observer seat. It's an awesome feature, makes it super easy. One hand access to be able to get underneath here and store all your stuff. Um, it's a really large compartment. Um, one of the coolest features about this seat is the incorporation of the heaters. So we've got heated seats now, both the backrest and the bottom are both heated. Whether you're uh, out for a late evening surf and it's a little bit chilly out, you can throw on that heated seat and keep everyone nice and warm. While we're here in the cockpit, I have to point out the FX1 power tower. It really accents the boat. It makes the whole boat look amazing. First of all, power folding, press of a button, fold it up and down, makes it super easy for storage, um, whether you're trying to get underneath a bridge, tucked into a garage. Uh, one of my favorite features is being able to fold the whole thing up and put a cover over the entire boat. Living down in Florida, it's nice to be able to get everything out of the weather. Um, the entire tower and the whole boat is under the cover and that's a standard feature. Um, so it's just really, really nice to be able to have that for long-term storage. Another awesome new addition for the 21 Supers is the redesigned driver's seat. Um, it's an exposed frame driver's seat. It looks like a race car seat. Um, it's heated on the base and on the back. Um, it's power forward and back as well as up and down. It's just a seat loaded with features. It's also super comfortable. Um, because of the wide base, I'm able to turn and look backwards if I need to, talk to any of the people that are in the boat without having to swivel the seat. Really love this thing. 
One of the most important areas to me in the boat is the helm. I spend a lot of time in the driver's seat and behind the wheel. Um, this area Supra has created is absolutely unbelievable. The customization that you have here with the Vision Dash, um, two standard screens, um, being able to transfer information from one screen to the other. So if you want to have your music up on one screen and you want to have your ballast showing on the other screen um, or vice versa, the customization and the versatility of having these two screens is absolutely incredible. Some other cool unique stuff that they've done here at the helm is the wireless charging, being able to just throw your phone in, have wireless charging, even another spot down here that's easy to throw a phone. Um, the steering wheel, the throttle, um, especially if you upgrade to the new thruster package, it's very easy to use. There's two thrusters mounted towards the outside of the boat, gives you a ton of control. The way that they've seamlessly integrated it into the throttle makes it super easy to use. A simple turn of the throttle makes you be able to maneuver exactly where you want to go, whether you're coming into your trailer, getting away from the fuel dock, or just maneuvering around in a cove. Makes it super easy to drive the boat and gives you a ton of control. One of the first things that we usually talk about when we go out on the boat is the stereo. Everyone's uh, grabbing their phones and wanting to connect. Um, it's one of the most important features on the boat and JL did an amazing job this year. Um, they came in and they custom tuned uh, their system specifically for the SA. We've got twin 12 inch subwoofers that are standard. Um, each one of the cockpit speakers are built into their own fiberglass pods. The system sounds absolutely unbelievable and JL props to them for, uh, for designing an amazing speaker system. The new frameless windshield is a nice touch to the styling of the SA. Um, being that it's frameless, it's unobstructed viewing, so there's no, uh, no cross bracings or anything like that in your way. Um, when you go to close the windshield, um, it's a compression hinge now, um, so it's no slamming. It's easy one hand operation that'll stay up no matter where it's at. Uh, it's really, really nice. One of the things that the SA is notorious for is some really aggressive and cool styling. In that fits the bow. It's a really large bow, tons of room up here, loaded with features. You've got your JL speakers, cup holders, handles, um, removable seat in the center to where you can have a walkthrough or you can have the playpen style seating. Um, this is one of the, my favorite areas in the boat. My kids, as soon as we get in the boat, they run up here, uh, they kind of take over the bow and this is the spot they like to hang out in. So that's our walkthrough of the 21 SA550. Uh, this boat is absolutely loaded with features. We didn't even get into some of the stuff. Um, the fact that this is the official tow boat for the PWT, it is a top tier performance boat. The wakes, the waves on this boat are ridden by some of the best riders in the world. Um, they are learning all kinds of new tricks and uh, the progression of the sport has just gotten better because of what we've delivered here in the SA. But you as a consumer, what you're gonna get from it is you're gonna have a, a boat that's absolutely loaded with standard features, um, awesome options, it's a comfortable boat, and the performance is second to none. I absolutely love this boat. If you wanna build your own dream SA, head over to superboats.com, play around with the build a boat, and uh, go in there and build your own dream boat. It's a really cool thing to check out. Um, if you're ready to take one out on the water, give your local dealer a call and schedule a test ride.